Hello, our friends. We're going to be using Model Magic to do a sculpture, and we're gonna be looking at form and texture, repetition, pattern, all that kind of stuff. And so when you get this stuff, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open it, but don't do that. Watch this video, watch the how to make videos, and then open it, because once you open it, it starts drying, and it's an air dry clay. So I know what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna open it up, get this out, and so here it is. I think it feels like marshmallows myself. All right, so I know that I'm gonna have one little piece that's going to be um, like a ball form, and it's gonna be gray, and then these are gonna be white, and I'm gonna have another piece over here that's going to be a little bit gray. Okay, so these I'm going to leave alone. Now, how do you put color on this? Well, I like to use markers. I think it's easy and simple. These are water-based markers, so you can use Crayola washable markers. You could use, these are just the school-issued markers that I have. All right, so I want this to be gray. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make it into a coil or like a big long snake so I can get the surface area exposed. So that's like all this stuff. And then I'm just gonna go like this and just kind of color it. Well, let's say you want pink and all you have is red. Well, red will make pink with this stuff. So just use red or a mint green, just use green. All right, there we go. I'll cap this up so it stays. Okay, now we're just going to smush and rub this all. And my fingers are getting a little dirty, and that's okay. I'm washable. So that black is going to give me that gray color. Okay, so you can take and twist it, mix it, and it kind of has this marbling kind of look to it, which I kind of like. But the more you work with it, the um, more it's going to um kind of um get more solid okay so now i want it to be more dark or darker so i'm just going to come in here color it again flip and color it again i'm just putting more color into it now could you paint this yes you could but you know this is kind of a fun easy economical way to do it and most of us have markers laying around now permanent markers will work too but they are going to get your hands dirty and then you're going to have to use like rubbing alcohol isopropic you know stuff to get it off with okay so here we go i got my gray piece made so now i'm going to set it over here and now um Hopefully my fingers will be clean enough here for white. All right, so now I'm gonna make some eyeballs and you guys will have not very long to work on this because the, the clay, okay, and I, I use clay with this, but it's not like clay that you, that you have to bake in the oven that you can use for um, stuff to do pottery with that you would use for um, drinking or eating out of. This is an air dry clay. So now I want to have little black pupils. So I'm just going to poke, poke. And then that gives me a pretty good black for that part. All right. Then I want to have some little legs on this guy because I'm making the sheep. Okay. And I've watched the video, so I know what I'm doing. Because if you have this out and it's air drying and you're watching the video because you don't know what to do, it's not going to end well. You want to watch everything, know what you're going to do, and then do it. Okay, so now I'm going to put his little legs on. Okay, and uh, if, if you, like, if you want to search how to make different animals and then make something else, go for it. I just put um, on the video, I just put the link for the, um, just some real simple ones that you can make. But remember, you don't have like a boatload of model magic. Okay. 
Help! I need my fur coat. Okay, let's see. I think, you know, I'm going to keep a little bit. I think it was, yeah, we have to keep a little bit. All right, so I got all my little spheres here and you'll know that they're kind of sticking together because that's what Model Magic does. So like these are all sticking together. So I'm going to lay these all over my little sheep guy. Okay, and I'm gonna alter, Nate, what I got going here. And my spheres are not all the same shape and that's okay. We need one right here. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him. But, all right, I'm starting to get a little weird on it, but that's okay, because you know what? I'm having fun, and I hope you guys have fun doing this too, because life is too short not to have fun. He's adorable. Okay, and then with this, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make like a little pendant because I have a little extra. So I'm just gonna roll it. I'm gonna smush it. So I'll do this. Squishy, squishy, squishy. To, you know what? I think I'm gonna use my marker and I'm going to put an M on here. There we go for Mertz. Okay, then what I can do, uh oh, uh oh having problems. I'm just gonna squish it back. Okay, so I put a little black in there. You'll notice I'm not getting upset because I had a little accident. Hey? So what I learned is that I can't have that on there. So I'm gonna just keep it in my hand. Ooh, that's pretty with the marbling in there. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. This time I think I'm just gonna use the marker like this. I like that better. I'm gonna put my initial there. Okay, then I'm not putting it on. I'm just gonna rest it there because I don't want it to stick. Okay, then I'm gonna make this into like a pendant so I'm just gonna put a hole up here and, and there I go. And so now I'm just gonna let that dry and let my little sheep dry. There we go. I love it. All right, Yee! that's cute. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't and uh, have fun.